So, hello, I'm Allison Sullivan with Stamp Crazy with Allison, and I am a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I live just outside of Vancouver, so basically in the lower mainland um, of Vancouver in BC. And I've been a demonstrator for almost 20 years. Oh my gosh, I don't know where the time went. Anyway, I'm really happy that you joined me today, and we're going to be using the Joyful Life stamp set, and we're going to be using it with our Sunday sketch. My partner in the US, Patsy Wagner and I, um, we share an exclusive uh, Border Buddy, that's what our brand is, Border Buddies, sketch with you on Sundays on our blog. And today I'm going to use one of our sketches and create a card. So let's get started. Good morning, Mern. good morning, Mo. All right, so let's go over to our workspace. Okay. It's a lovely morning. It certainly is. Um, I Hi, Sharon and Julie. I went to um, my first soccer game of the season for my son, my adult son, and um, last night. And we've had all this beautiful weather. And, of course, because it is the first game and because it is Vancouver, it was raining and ugh, it wasn't overly miserable, but... It was great for the players. They like it a bit when it's dull and rainy. Anyway, I hadn't been to one of his games in about four years. He hasn't played um, in about four years. So it was really fun to get back and watch him. Anyway, I wish the weather had been like today because it looks a lot nicer. All right, so let's get started. We are going to be using the Joyful Life stamp set today, which is stinking cute, right? And it's got the characters. I love these little critters. You've got the bear and the rabbit and the pig and the hedgehog. Hedgehogs are so in these days. And the sayings, even though this is in the mini catalog, the sayings, yes, there is a Christmas one. But there's also ones that are generic. So for birthday or just a friend or thinking of you, it's a perfect little set. Okay. Now, this happens to be the set that I am featuring in my Create with Ange and Allison class for October. Now, when I say October, I mean that we have our live class in October on October 16th, but the registrations for this so we can order the supplies and get them out to you ends on September 19th. So next week, next Sunday. Okay. So let me show you what comes in the class. So you're going to purchase your own stamps and then you're going to receive in your kit a half a package of the heartwarming hugs DSP. So you're going to get 12 six by 12. So that's one side. And then here's the other side. Oh, hi, Carly. Okay, so that's the other side. So really beautiful traditional greens and reds for Christmas. Awesome, right? You're also going to get a full roll of the real red sheer ribbon. And you're going to get a package of the wonderful gems. So lots of product, $40. And then, of course, you're going to get your cards. So we've, we've created four adorable cards using the set and all the products. And I'm just going to move this out of the way. And um, you're going to get the PDF instruction. Our instructions have pictures the measurements, the supplies, and step-by-step -step how to make it. And then what's even better is that we invite you to a live class where we're going to make the cards together. So that is on October the 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. If you can't make it, that's okay. You can watch the videos later. Okay, good morning, Jacqueline. So that's the class. So let's get started with a project today. So like I said, today is Sunday Sketches. And here is my sketch for the day. I'm going to move it into the screen there. Here we go. Okay. So this is our card base. And we've, I've just cut it at the regular five and a half by eight and a half. So let me get that product right here so we can see what's going on. Okay. Whoops. I've chosen uh, Old Olive. Just... Christmas color goes together with the designer series paper, I think. And so I've just scored it at four and a quarter. And now we've got our card front. So pretty straightforward, right? Now I've also cut a piece that is 
three and three quarters by four and three quarters. So here it is. But we're going to cut this. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. And then we've also got another piece of designer series paper cut two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Okay, so that's all our bits for the for the base. And then I'll show you what else I've decided to add. All right. So let's start by it says here cut at an angle from one inch on the left side to two and a quarter on the right side. Okay, so it's, it's, um. I did it the opposite way because I wasn't reading the instructions, but so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to measure down. Let's make sure I'm in the screen here. Good morning, Marjorie. Good morning, Connie. Morning, Naveen. I'm yelling as if you can hear me <laughs> through the airwaves. I'm going to lower this down the titch. All right. So I'm just going to measure one inch down and I'm going to make a little mark. And then on the other side, I'm going to go two and a quarter up. I think it's two and a quarter. I better check. Yeah. Okay. So I did the opposite of my sketch, but that's okay. All right. And then I'm going to get my cutter. Bring that in here. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Jillian. Oh, my gosh. Lots of you joining me today. Thank you. I'm just going to turn my light so I can see what I'm doing here. So I've got my one inch here, right, and my two and a quarter, gosh, up here. So I'm just going to tilt my card so that those two marks are roughly, this is not an exact science and it doesn't have to be. But you can see the channel here, right, on my cutter. Let me just, so I'm talking about this, this channel here is where the blade slides up. So this is where it's going to cut. Okay. And that's what I want. So I'm just going to go up. I'm holding my piece of paper so it doesn't slip too much. And like I said, this is not an exact science. It does not have to be because no one will know if you cut it at one and a quarter and, you know, two you can change it to whatever you'd like. Okay. So I'm just going to erase those marks. If you feel more comfortable or if it's a darker piece and you want to draw a pencil line, you can do that. All right. Now you can use either side. You could flip it and have it go this way. Or you can have it go this way. But both pieces, you can't flip um, like this color on the top and this color on the bottom unless you cut two identical and make two cards. You could do that. But we're not going to do that today. Okay. All right. So that's the guts of that one. I'm going to bring back in our card base. And I'm going to grab my glue. My favorite glue is the white glue. I know a lot of people don't like it, but if you practice, you'd be amazed at how good you can get at the glue. I don't go too close to the edge because I don't want it to squirt out. So I'm just going to place that. I like it because it allows me to move my cardstock after it's in place or my whatever I'm gluing my cardstock or my designer series paper and I like that and it dries clear so all right and then I'm just gonna it's on here now when you're lining this up you don't have to worry too much just follow whatever you've done at the top so you may have a larger gap or a smaller gap depending on how far apart you put the first piece okay and that's fine all right now, I've also cut another piece from that heartwarming hugs. <clears throat> now, ooh, I wonder what side I should do. Hmm, I've got this sort of checkerboard. It looks like a, it's more like a picnic to me. I like this one because it pulls up the red, I think. So I'm going to go with the, this side, okay? Okay, hope everybody's doing well today on this Sunday. Okay go all right everybody with me so far all right so let's <clears throat> excuse me choose one of those characters from our stamp set reminder i know that i do a lot of pig cards but i'm sorry i love the pig so i will show you other cards that i've already made with the other characters i'm just i'm just loving the pig all right so here we're going to be using Memento ink, right? Because we want to color with Stampin' Blends. So we want to make sure, I'm just going to do it this way. You would use a smaller piece of 
cardstock. I just had this in my scrap bin. So I figured I might as well use it. Now remember, when you're using the Stampin' Blends, you want to make sure that you put a piece of paper underneath because the alcohol will come through as it's supposed to. Okay, you want it to come through. Good morning, Maxine. Good morning, Jennifer. I don't know if I've missed anybody since you've all been popping on. So I'm going to, these are the colors that I'm going to use. I'm going to bring these in so I hope you can see them. Okay. I'll tell you what they are as I'm using them. Okay. So I'm going to start at the top of my pig and move down my pig. Okay. So I've got my um, smoky slate. So this is light smoky slate. I am going to use the bullet in just because I'm going to have more control if I do that. And I'm going to just color in the top edge of my pig ear. I'm not going to color the whole ear. Then I'm going to just put some between my two glasses here and down the cheeks. Just what I, I'm just really adding a bit of shading is what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go down here to the body and again just add a little bit around the edge just to add some shading. And then I'm going to color each side of the hoof. So I'm not coloring in the whole hoof. Okay, so just adding a bit of shading. Hopefully you can see that. I'll see if I can hold it up, but my webcam might not want to focus. I might be better to move my camera down. See, my camera is trying to focus. Let's see if I move it down, if that's a better way to see something. Of course, it's on white, so it's a little bit harder, but I think you get the idea, okay? Which actually gives me an idea. So I am actually going to go grab a piece of black. All right, let's put this on black cardstock. I think you can see it a little bit better. I think that looks a bit better. All right, so next color I want to add is Flirty Flamingo, Light Flirty Flamingo, because it's a little bit darker than the petal pink, and I like that. And I think that her or his ear inside would be a nice bright pink. So I think so. And then I'm going to grab the dark petal pink because I think the light's a bit too light and color in the snit. Okay. And rather than use um, two colors that are the same, I am actually going to add a little bit of the flirty flamingo, the light flirty flamingo, just to the top and edge of the snit. And then with blends, which is awesome, is you can go in and then just go over the whole thing. And I'm just going to be left with that nice little um, highlight. Okay. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Cheryl. Bye, bye, everybody. Hope so. All right. So next, glasses. Now, glasses could just be left, but I think it's nice to kind of make it look like a lens. So the best color I have found is the light pool party. So just want it to look like a lens. Besides, they make glasses or sunglasses at least in all sorts of lens colors, pink and blue and red. I was looking at them the other day because I lost my sunglasses. So I had to buy new ones and they were the ones that Stampin' Up! had given me on an incentive trip. So they were really good. They were Maui gins. But you know what? I've had them for about five years. They don't owe me a nickel as my mom would have said. And so I treated myself to a new pair, but I did not get pink or blue lens. <laughs> All right, so next up, we've got this little coffee cup. So I just want to add some light old olive. So that's what I'm going to add to my coffee cup. Okay. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and use, you know what? I'm going to use the, the pink, the light flamingo. For the little java sleeve and it's sort of brown usually like a corrugated but i don't care i want it to be pink because then that kind of ties in and then lastly i just want to add some real red to the stripes of the scarf so i'm not i don't want to color in the whole scarf i just want to add some highlights to those areas I'm just being kind of careful 
Sometimes you have these really little spots and your eyesight isn't so good. Just dot it. Okay, just do that and then add the color where you want. Okay. Cute. I've decided now she's a she. Although it kind of looks like a he. All right. That's it. That's all I'm coloring gonna do. So pretty simple, right? Now I can't stop using Win Costella. I just love Win Costella. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I want to put a little bit of Win Costella on the scarf. Just to give it a little bling. Because you can't go wrong with bling. At least I don't think so. All right. So that's my pig done. And now I want to cut this out. So I'm going to use one of the layering circles dies. These are great. If you guys don't know about these dies, they're awesome. You get, oh, I'm going to just raise my camera, titch so you can see. There we go. So look at all the shapes you get. You get um, the, just the plain rings, the plain circles, and then you also get matching scallops. So you can make a little edge, which is cute. So this is the size I've picked. It is, let's measure. It is, if I'm just going by the inside, I'll do it inches, not centimeters. It's just about two and an eighth inch circle, roughly. Okay. And I need to use my stamp and cut and emboss machine. So let me bring it in. Here we go. Little guy works for this. And I've got my plates. And I'm just going to move this up a bit so you can see the end because you don't have to you get the idea. So I use plate number three for all my cutting and all my embossing. And I've got my clear plate, which, as you can see, isn't very clear. And then I've got my circle die. And I chose this size because my little pig fits perfectly inside the die. Okay. And then I'm just going to put my clear plate on top without moving that. And I'm going to run that through. And I'm going to run it back just because it's easier for me to pick it off. I'm not reaching over my camera. Okay. So there's my little pig cut. Yay. And then, I guess, now I need, um, I want a scallop. You could do a round circle would be fine too, but I wanted to add a little bit of interest. So I'm going to use a scallop. So I'm going to use a scallop that's just slightly larger. Okay, let's run that through. And when I use, see, this is why I use plate number three as the base, because honestly, it never fails me. It grabs it every time. Okay, so now you can put this aside. I do too. Kathy says she loves this. I'm not sure what she's loving, but I love whatever you're loving, Kathy. If you love it, I love it. All right. All right, here we go. Cute. So here's our card, right? And let me grab some of that ribbon, some of that sheer ribbon, because I'm not sure which way I'm going to do this yet. I've got two ideas. Now, normally I would go like this and I would just layer that on, but I didn't like that because I didn't think I saw enough. It wasn't enough contrast for here. So I'm going to just offset it. I'm, put this, oh yeah, that is the right I'm just going to offset it sort of like that. So I'm seeing that green, but it's, it's just adding a little bit of interest. I could have gone with red, I suppose, but we're too far down the rabbit hole. We're going to stick with now this one is pear pizzazz. I didn't use old olive. I you I did use old olive for the cards, but I'm using pear pizzazz for my little um, scallop. And see with this glue, you can play around and get it where you want it. I think I want it like that. Okay, so that would be what the back looks like. It's just offset a titch. Okay, now here's where the I'm gonna either do one of two things. I'm either gonna take this ribbon and just make a little tail. Like this. Does that make sense? Like that. Or I'm going to take a larger piece and make, I don't know what you call this, kind of a 
curly kiwi thing. I don't know, there's probably a better word for it. It's more like that and cut it off there. What do you guys think? Hi, Ruby here. <laughs> it is cute. I love this pig. Um, okay, you guys, you can tell me what you like. Do you want it like this or do you just want the little tail at the top? I'm going to hold that in place because if you decide on this one, I'm going to be ready to go. So you guys can let me know. Anybody care? Is it too early in the morning, you guys? Anybody got an opinion? Let's see. No one. Oh, Z-fold. Is that what it's called, Ruby? Thank you. Ruby is just giving me the name. This one. Yeah. Yeah, this. I agree. I think it's cuter, don't you? So I'm going to smooth them up. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that in place. And then, whew, look at me. I'm going to try and grab a piece of our tearing tape because I got up early enough that I'm kind of a little more with it this morning. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to put that across just to hold it in place. Okay, and then that's going to be covered by that. And then I can just trim that off. Isn't that cute? Cute. I need to make that a little bit shorter. Okay, there we go. Now I can just add dimensionals because everything's better with dimensionals. Look at this, I'm getting to the end of my dimensionals here. It's all right. And, okay. Oh, I'm glad Maxine. Maxine says she's got the set and it's just sitting there and she's not sure. Well, I'm going to show you some other samples, Maxine. So just hold your, you know, just hold on here and you'll love what I'm going to do to show you. Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm thinking it needs a sentiment, but I maybe should have moved this up a little bit and it's too late to do that now. So maybe we just won't go with the sentiment on this one. I'll bring in the one that's got the tail and I'll finish it off with the sentiment. You don't know what it's, Ruby says she doesn't know if that's what this is called, but you know what? I think it should be a Z because it looks like a Z. Unless you're in America, then it's a Z. <laughs> but I'm in Canada, so that's a Z. All right, so here's the one that I had made earlier with the different, the, just the little tail. So let's put a sentiment on here to finish it off because I think the other one, the sentiment wouldn't work as well, okay? Let's grab some pear pizzazz. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I just want to stamp and we're going to go with friends like you make life a joy wouldn't that be cute if you made this card and then you put like a little starbucks in there or something or tim horton's card be canadian help yourself to a double double all right double double for americans this is what we mean by a double double this is canadian slang double double means a tim horton's coffee with two creams and two sugars, double double. I'm just gonna flick, I'm just doing this, you guys. Okay, there we go. And I might have been able to get away with just stamping it in black, actually. We'll see which one looks better when we're done. So let's heat set this baby. Okay, I'll turn on the heat gun, our heat tool. To number two and when it starts to melt and cook then I can start moving it across my piece I think that's good kind of hard to see at this angle you know we're angled off in a different way than um, you would normally be for stamping all right now I can just cut this little baby out. Okay, so let's just get some excess off here. And, you know, this is going to be tricky. Should have started at the other side. Okay. 
doesn't matter. You could have, I could have actually just cut it freehand. Okay, so that's the white, which might be a little bit too white. I'm not sure. Let's try. Let's try it in. Hmm. Let's try it in. I think black would be maybe a little too stark, but let's try it. Sometimes you just have to do things on the fly, right? Okay. Oh, black might be better. And faster if you're making this card for some friends. Do you guys do what I do? I, I have a stash of cards. Do you guys do that? So especially, I hate to say it, sympathy cards, because when I have to send one of them, I, um, I just want one that's already made up. So because it's hard when you lose somebody or a friend loses somebody. So I like to have a stash of those. Um, I like to have a stash of thank you and birthday. Um, but maybe I'll get a stash of these. I think the black looks better. What do you guys think? That's the white. I think it's just not quite bright enough. I think the black is better. Yeah, I'm going to go with the black. Okay. I think this would be better popped up. Oh, hi, Diane. Yeah, I'm all, my sister's saying it anchors the card, and I think you're right. I think the white is just too washed out. Maybe if this was red, you know, in a brighter color, then you could get away with it, right? But I just, I don't think so. So I'm going to put that there. Like that. I'm just going to just anchor that, as Mo says. And then last but not least, we have to put some bling on. So let's add some, let's add some wonderful gems. Oh, this guy's already got them. Can you see them up here? So let's go back to my original card. Here she is. And let's add some gems to that. I'm just going to put one here and one just below it. And it does sparkle. You can see it more in person. And gosh, I wonder if this one, if I could get away with putting that on just to finish it off. You know what? I'm just going to put that on. It finishes the card. It's maybe not quite the right color, but I've got it. the sentiment done, right? So I might as well stick it on here. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, everyone's saying black. Everyone likes black, 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 black. Yes, let me move these into the screen. Here we go. So just do two different ways, right? We've got the little tail only. So I just took my ribbon. And if you've never done these, it's really easy. You just take your ribbon, you fold it in half, you cut it off, and then you just glue it to the back of your image. And you've just got this cute little tail. Or this one, as Ruby has taught me, the Z fold ribbon. Okay, so that's today's card. Now let me just show you some other cards that I've made. Thank you, Kathy. I love this stamp set. Love this stamp set. Right? So this again, just to remind you, this is a class. Not this card, but um, this is just to give you a little bit of a teaser. But at our at our class that Angie and I are doing, you're going to get four cards in the PDF to make them and join us for a fun morning of stamping on October 16th. And you're going to get your little goodie back. If you live in the United States, I can't send you the kit. However, you can purchase the PDF and you can join us on October 16th and stamp along with us. You can cut your own products. Okay. Hi, Sandy. This little piggy and Leona. This little piggy is so cute, isn't it, Jacqueline? Yes. Okay. So let me show you something else. So here's the same card, only I've used the hedgehog. Okay. All right. So that's the hedgehog. Hopefully you can see that. So this time I did, I did the checkered because it was cooking like, or she's not cooking, but she's got her apron on and she's bringing, you know, gifts. And I just thought, oh, this looks sort of like a checkerboard tablecloth. So that's kind of why I went with that. This is all from that same pack. Now, I am on live on Sunday mornings at 10 and I'm on Wednesday afternoons at 3. And those are all Pacific time. And the first two weeks of every month, I'm on on Thursdays at 7. I know that's confusing. So that's what some of these cards I'm going to show you 
these is this is where they were made, right? So I think I made this one. Gosh, I don't know. I think this might have been my Wednesday card. Isn't that cute? And then I've got the bear. Also, he's adorable and cute. And I'm really sorry, but I have the rest of my cards are pigs because I just love the pig. I'm just going to hold that so you can kind of see it. I'm thinking the light is maybe a bit too bright. There we go. Okay, cute. This was a Sunday sketch from last week. So you can go back and look at my um, videos, you guys. You can either click the video link if you're in my Facebook page. But if you're on YouTube, then they are in my lives on YouTube. And if you are watching on YouTube or you have a YouTube account and you want to watch on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because then you'll get notifications that I'm going live over there. Here's another one. Now, this one has been combined with other products. This is the Whimsy and Wonder designer series paper. And these stamps are from the, whim I think it's Whimsical. Whimsical something. Let's look. Whimsical Trees Bundle. And then there's little pages cut out. Those, he's a, he or she is really easy to cut out of uh, Fussy Cat for sure. Okay. And then here's another one. See the little tag up here? You could actually replace that with a ribbon if you wanted. A bit different. Okay. And then lastly, this is one from, um, gosh, I think this was just one of my Thursday shares where I was talking about the class. And was just showing some a card that you can make with the class. Okay. All right, so registration for this class closes on September 19th, so a week today. And uh, the links are in, just like in this video, when it closes off, you'll see the links. If you're Anne's customer, you want to click her link. If you're my customer, click mine. And if you're nobody's customer, then you can click mine, okay? Since you've seen me and you've never shopped with Ange. All right, let me tell you something exciting. But before I do that, let's revisit our sketch. Sorry, almost blew that. So there's my interpretation. Oops, are we in the screen here? I might have to raise it up. That's my interpretation of the sketch. Okay. So I really encourage you to use the sketch. I'll post the sketch. And make some cards and post them for all of us to see. We'd love to see what you make with this sketch. This is a perfect sketch if you want to use it for, I mean, you can use it for absolutely any stamp set, right? Just change out your DSP or use cardstock and emboss it. You can do so many things. Okay, so that's a sketch. I'm just kind of starting with a sketch helps me too, especially if I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going to start. I've got something really exciting to tell you. Whimsy and Wonder. I should have got it better. This is my catalog, as you can see, with all my little tips. But this suite of products is on page 24 and 25 of the mini catalog. You can purchase them a la carte, meaning you can pick and choose what you'd like, the stamps or the DSP or the ribbon. For our next Create with Ange and Allison class, so we'll be taking registration starting October 1st for that with the class, the live class being in November, but we, we sell it the first two weeks and we buy what we need and we ship it off to you and we're ready for your, for your class live in early November. If you, we always have a deal where if you, um, for $40, you're going to get the cards and you're going to get a goodie bag. And that goodie bag is going to have half a pack of the DSP, it's going to have a full roll of ribbon, and it's going to have the snowflakes. So you're going to get that plus your four cards for $40. But we have a really special bonus. If you purchase the Whimsy and Wonder Suite Collection um, as a group, we have an amazing bonus that we're going to send you. And now I've teased you, and I can't tell you what the bonus is, but trust me, you are going to love the bonus. So if you haven't already got this collection, and if it's something that interests you, you can hold off and order it and get that big bonus. 
Or if you already own it, you can pick something of the same value. I think it's $109. So you can pick other products and just tell me that you want to apply. You want that applied to the Whimsy and Wonder Sweet Bonus. Okay. Now what else? It's still celebration. So make sure if you want any of the products in celebration that you place your $60 or $120 order, depending on what item that you would like. I haven't heard that anything is sold out. So you've still got a chance to get everything that's in here. So make that decision. And here's a, um, a bonus for this month for me, from me to my customers. Any purchase will receive a PDF with 39 projects. Yeah, 39 projects, big tutorial. And um, you'll get this for free just as a thank you. So. I would um, take advantage because you can use all your celebration products. Now, if you don't have any celebration products, that's okay. You can probably, um, not probably, you can just substitute any stamp sets that you already own that are similar or just look at it for the design and the uh, layout. So it's great for anybody. That ends September 30th, that offer. And what else can I tell you? Um, that's pretty exciting. Oh, if you don't live... Um, if you, you can't place an order because you don't live in Canada, that's okay. There is The PDF is also for sale in my store, okay? It's $27 Canadian. So if you're American, I don't know what that would translate to. Probably $22 American. Anyway, it's 39 tutorials, so it's a really good deal. And last but not least, Paper Pumpkin. So the Paper Pumpkin subscription period from the 10th of September to the 11th of September to the 10th of October is going to be a box with tis the season. So I think we can pretty much assume based on the pictures here that it's going to be a Christmas card theme, right? Um, each, uh, let's see here, you get your stamp set, obviously. You get a stem spot and all the bits and embellishments. You even get the adhesives. And um, so watch for that. If you want to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin with me, I'd appreciate it. And um, you can get that box. But you want to do it before the 10th of October. All right, you guys. I'm going to come back over to say goodbye. And thank you for coming. So let's go back. And here we are. I'm going to say this. I am so grateful. We did not lose our feed. You know how we've been losing my feed on my webcam? Um, I bought a new little splitter, and I think that made the difference. I haven't lost you. So I'm going to assume that's why I haven't lost you. Uh, it could have been just a overall glitch with, you know, the bandwidth or something that particular evening. But I'm happy that I didn't lose anybody and I didn't have to come back and forth. Okay. So any questions before I go? Now, normally, this is just a public service announcement. Normally, I will be would be on on Wednesday and again on Sunday and again on the following Wednesday. But I'm actually going out of town for the first time in like 18 or 19 months. So I won't really be able to do a live unless I use my sister's camera and stuff. And you never know. I might do that. But for now, I'm just going to take a break. And I won't see you again until two weeks Sunday, so the 26th. Yikes, but I'll put projects up for you to, to look at and to download so you won't be totally alone <laughs> from me. It won't, be, it won't be radio silence, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, you guys, thank you so much. You all have a wonderful rest of the day and a great week going forward. Bye for now. Thanks, and happy stamping.